Portland Specialty Baking, or PSB, is located in the Portland metro area. We knew that they employed people from other countries, uh, but really didn't know a whole lot about it. This company was fined by OSHA, I believe at least two times, for not having the proper guards on their equipment and their workers getting fingers cut off or even the whole arm. He worked three shifts around the clock. Um, and it looked like it was a workforce of about 150 people. Um, so we got an insider and found out uh, that wages were low, benefits were low. The Oregon AFL-CIO came to us, and now the Oregon AFL-CIO has always done things that are different, innovative, thinking outside the box. Their proposal was to help us organize and they were looking at the bakery, Portland Specialty Bakery, which was then new, a new owner had come in. So after several visits from the employees, we came with the idea of creating a poster with pictures of all the union support to kind of encourage the others that were hiding or afraid to come out or sign a petition card to give them some courage so we can show them that their workers support that union and the idea and they want better benefits. So organizing continued. Do they want to be union? The whole concept of American unions, how does that work? The ideas of being democratically voting, coming up with proposals, and that they have a right to seek justice here, and they have a right to seek a fair wage in return for the labor, that they shouldn't have to come here and live in poverty. Uh, that wasn't the destiny of being here in America, that they had a right to it. So once the company got noticed that we filed a petition and uh, they immediately began the anti-union campaign, some of the tactics that the company used were the normal ones. They scared them with this, the, the union's gonna take you on strike, you're not gonna have an income, you're gonna lose your insurance, you're gonna be paying $200 on union dues. For these people coming into the country for the first time here, you know, and your boss says, I don't want you to do this, it made them double think it. We lost the campaign, the company got in their heads, and this was the first time learning about what a union is, and they were confused, basically. But there were still a lot of issues, and that's where the Northwest Workers' Justice Project came in, again in association with the AFL-CIO. We knew that there were things that were going wrong, but the lawyers of Northwest Justice Project heard about something and they latched onto it. It was that this employer was not paying overtime correctly. I mean, again, we're talking about a place that works six days a week, seven days a week, these workers did, and sometimes 10 and 10 and 12 hours a day. And maybe the employer wasn't paying them correctly. As a result from us testifying, a decision was made that the law was going to be changed, and it was going to be more strict on how the companies paid overtime. And immediately, the business community throughout Oregon went in uproar. The bottom line, in all of this, it was an unexpected result, the state law that benefited every manufacturing worker from an organizing campaign. In our local, we firmly believe, win or lose, you always keep doing it. You keep doing it. They persisted. <laughs>